In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to give you some additional tips on applying a transition to a title. Often we think of transitions as only for use with video clips or still images, but we're going to show you how they can be used with titles. This is a follow-up to another tutorial. What we have on the screen on track number one is a video of Portland. And let's assume we want to add a title and shape the appearance of that title by using a transition with it. I'm going to start from scratch because I had a query from my last tutorial asking how did you make that title. So let me show you. I'm going to take the title room and click on the T on the left side, go to the default my title and drag it down into track number two. Then I can either press the F2 key or double click. That will get me into my title designer. A couple things I want to change. We'll call this Hot Nights. And then I will select all of the characters inside the title and make a couple of changes. First thing I want to do is change the font family. I'll use Impact. I can just type the I and that will get to the first of those in my character set of my title options. Now we've changed it to impact. Now I'm going to change the size. I don't have to use a drop down. I'm just going to type in a number from 48 to 68, press enter, and it gets larger. Now I'm going to center it both horizontally and vertically. To do that, I go to the icon below the preview screen called Align Objects. I click on that. I'll horizontal center, and I click again, and I will vertical center and now I have that centered. Now I'm going to change the color of the font as well. Right now it's set to uniform color. I'll click on the down arrow in my font face section under uniform color and go to two color gradient. I need a beginning color and an ending color. I'll click on the beginning with and that will take me to my color palette. We'll start with a yellow and then I'll click on OK. Then we'll go to end with Click on that. Now I'll go to a red. I think I'll actually go down the spectrum a little bit darker on my red and click on OK. Now I have the color. Now the direction of the gradient looks like it's uh, 5 o'clock. I'm going to change it by dragging on the white circle and dragging it down to 6 o'clock. So the gradient will be from top to bottom. The other thing I want to change on this, I'd like to add a border on my font. And we'll take a border and the default is blue. I'll click on the blue, change it to white in my color palette, and click on OK. I'm also going to change the depth of that, for the size from 3 to, let's go down simply to 2. I don't need it to be dramatic. Then I'm going to do add an effect that's found only in PowerDirector 365 or PowerDirector 17. I'm going to click on the Effect tab on the left side and then click on the Special Effects Triangle to open up the Special Effect options. We have one called Fire. I'll simply click on that and that will ignite the letters. Then I'll click on OK. So now I have my Hot Nights. And when I play, I get my normal response from my title, which is on top of my video on track number one. So let's make another change. Let's assume that what I'd like to do is I'd like to apply a transition to the title. To do that, I go to the transition room, which is the lightning bolt on the left, or I can press the F8 key. And I'm going to pick a motion transition. Right now it's set to general. I'll move up my slider and go to All Content. I'm going to drag down to a series of them that we have here. And here we have some rotational ones. Let's take a rotation clockwise around the bottom left. I'm going to take and drag that and put that onto my title at the beginning of the title. And when I click on Movie Mode and press the space bar or the greater than and play it, we have the rotation, but now it's rotating everything on both tracks, both the video and the title. That's not what I want. Let me show you a workaround that you can do if you only want to rotate the title. 
To do that, I'm going to move my video clip out of the way temporarily. And then we're going to focus on our title segment. Now, to do this, you have to make sure you have the length of the title to be what you want, no longer, no shorter. I'll assume I have it exactly the length I desire. With it highlighted, I'll press on the end key. Then I'm going to click on the little gold box. You see my icon for my mouse changes to an arrow and a double-headed blue arrow. And I'll drag across back to the beginning. There I have selected a range. So what I want to do is click on the Produce Range button above the timelines below the preview screen. And that will allow me to create an independent video clip just with that section. We're going to simply call this Title 1. And then I'll click on Start and we'll render that very short segment. So now I'm producing that. When I'm done, I'll go back to the Edit page. Then I have saved now my Title 1 as an independent video clip. It's in my media room. So what I'm going to do now is take my title as it was. I'll just slide it to the right. We won't use it right away. I'll go back to my Title 1 and drag that on Track 2. And then I'm going to take my video and drag it back where we started. Now normally you would expect it to play the way I hoped it would, but I'm going to run into one problem. Watch what happens. Now I have the flipping of my title, but I can't see the video. What I need to do is change the title. I'll double click on it. That gets me into my PIP Designer. And then the PIP Designer under Object Settings, I go down to the Chroma Key value. I'll click on that. Click on the eyedropper to select my Chroma Key value and then click on the black. And that makes everything that is black in that title transparent. Then I'll click on OK. Now I can see through the title as it were. And so when I play this, I find that my Hot Nights will flip in independent of the video. And so this is exactly the kind of look that I was trying to achieve. All I had to do was take my title itself, make sure it had a black background. You could use a green one or any color board you like, and then produce it separately and bring it back into the project. So that's one way in which you can use the transitions to apply to only the text when normally they would want to apply to the text and any tracks below it.